everybody welcome back to our youtube channel if you are new here you are most welcome and of course all our returning subscribers thank you thank you so much thank you so much for sparing your time to click and watch this video of course as you really know on this channel we create real estate and lifestyle video and of course now we do farming so this is the farming segment of course we are going to create another channel for the farming videos that are really that is really coming up very very soon but today i'm super super excited to give you an update of the farm how everything is progressing you guys have requested for this video for a long time i remember the first time we came here i just gave you the tour i gave you the surveying and today at least we have something to showcase that's why i took my time to now come back and show you what is happening on the farm and i'm super excited there's so much that we have to reveal to you that is new on the farm so there's so much as we already told you this is going to be a mixed farm so what do we mean by a mixed farm we are going to have so many livestock animals you might be wondering what kind of farming are we going to be doing in this area like i previously told you in the other video that we are going to have a livestock farm so a livestock farm we are going to be having animals like the goats we have the pigs we have the geese we have the hens we have the rabbits we have the turkeys oh my god there's so much that you have to expect from this farm and of course we started small but this farm is going to be a big one we have big dreams for this farm at least i feel like we have achieved so much within just a short period of time and i'm ready today to show you and reveal to you what we have at this farm like i told you we have the geese we have the goats we have the turkeys oh my god guys i'm super excited i feel like i'm really speaking so so much but let's just tell you guys what we started with why did we start with the hens the hens are right here you can see the hens are free on free range and basically guys what i wanted also to remind you that our mixed farm is going to be like a free range kind of system so everything is going to be free ranging like our goats are going to be free ranging that the hens are going to be free ranging the turkeys are going to be on free range the piglets I know most of you might be wondering how come that she's even going to be the, the, the piglets to free range but that is the method that we're going to be applying and I'm going to be taking through the journey of each and everything like, like it's just amazing to have everything free range it's just so beautiful it makes them you know exercise a bit it makes them, them healthy than them being in just a cage together so that they can also you know make some exercises and move around feed freely without being enclosed in some specific you know location so let me just take you to the first house that we have right here come with me so my lovely people this is the first structure so this structure in here is for the hens i know that everything here is really on free range like our local hens we have so many of them here we have the female the males you know the um, the big boys are already free range in that side some of them are here and some of them are already been laying so this is the by the way guys what i should really assure you is this is just a temporal structure these are not permanent structures because realize that everything that we began was i think in a different season like a rainy season so everything cannot be really done as quick as we wanted them to be done so we decided to make temporary structures for now as we are going to be building bigger structures for them so these are the smaller structures that we are doing for today i mean for this particular session or period of time so that we can be able to with time increase the number and also increase the structures so this is the first one for the hands as you can see this is really so amazing wow this is a temporal structure but you may think it is just like a permanent structure because they took really their time to construct this we have the feeders here we have the drinkers here that are put for the hens so whenever the hen really wants to come you know to feed they just come upstairs i mean they come to their house so that they can feed in case they want to drink the water is already here but of course these are temporal structures in the compound we have water so they have to feed the feeds everywhere these animals need to feed every time some of them are really coming here you can see some of them come to feed like as you see them right here one is already laying i think i'm just carrying it because it's from laying its eggs right that side i don't want to scare it so that we can be able to get eggs and also get new chicks very very soon so these are the laying boxes as you can see this is the feeder this is the drinker this other section here we are going to be putting more more laying boxes for them because we realize we have so many hens that are already laying guys we have eggs oh my god because these hens i think have the first 
the first bunch that we brought were just like a week ago and so far we have over 50 of them or even more than 50. Dennis, how many do we have so far? Is that it like more than even 50? Yeah, more than 50. There should be more than 50 birds that we have so far but you can see most of them are really laying. We isolate them and by the way, we are very strategic with the, the way we put these things together because we don't want them to get sick. So we first isolate them, then put them together. That's how it is. So these are the laying boxes. We have a net for them right here for them to get in fresh air and also prevent the predators from entering. So this is just a temporary structure. So this is how it is. Let me take you to the other temporal house for the turkeys so that you can see how it is. This other section here, you might be wondering what we use here, down here. These are the wood shavings that we put under for them to be warm, to be comfortable. And of course there is some timber down. That's what we tried to make them also because we couldn't cement this place. As you can see, this is just a temporary structure. So let's just take you guys to the, um, to the... We have more wood shavings, by the way, as you can see this other side. Because when those ones really get so dirty, we remove them, then we put more. So let me take you to the other house of the, of the birds so that you can be able to see what we are talking about. So this particular house here was made separate for the, for the turkeys. So this is the turkey house as well. You can see there's a feeder there, then there's a drinker. I think it has been removed because the workers are using um, using the, the drinker for, for what? They're, they're changing the water that is going to put. So this is their temporal structure as well. It's almost similar to the one for the hens, but that's how it is. Still with the wood shavings, there's timber just down here, then of course the wire mesh to prevent the predators or the animals from entering to eat them. I'm going to be showing you the turkeys. I don't know where they have. Excuse me. I don't know where the turkeys have really run. Like I told you, this is free range. Like things are just free to move anywhere they want. So that is basically for the hens that we have. Remember we have the um, we have the local hens and it's pretty amazing. These are the most nutritious hens in Uganda, in Africa. If in case you want to really have something nutritious, something really healthy, go for the local eggs. I mean local hens. These are the best by the way. You can believe me in that. Then we also have temporal structures for our goats. I'm going to take you guys to this other side. Like you can see, these are the goats guys. We have the goats right here. They are all free riding. And by the way, we have the Movende, we have the Locos, we have the Boas. Oh my god, guys, what do you think about the whole project? Is it amazing? Is it, are you surprised that we have such amazing goats in the farm? You can see this, they are already grazing. Most of them are pregnant. Most of them are, they're just here. Yeah. I think the last time we brought the, the, the goats is also like, not even a month ago. I think the eldest goat that we brought here has not even made like three weeks. But these are how it is. Our boa goats that we brought from the previous farm that you watched in the previous video. I'm going to link the video right here so that you can be able to check it out and see how we purchased these goats. So these are the ones we got them already. We already tagged them. I think I should really take you closer to them. So you come along with me. My people, this is one of our goats. So we already tagged them, like you can see. Oh. Goats that we purchased from the other farm, we already have them already tagged. You can see that. We already tagged. Hey, my goodness, I'm so scared. <laughs> This god doesn't want to be filmed, guys. So I'm here struggling to get it. <laughs> Remember, these are all free range. Free range They're very clean, as you can see. They're already tagged. They're enjoying the free grass. So let me just let it go. But that is what it is. We have the boa, the big boa, right? Here, guys. Let's go and check. Ooh, but now you know, so I look for Oh, 
guys, all of them are running away from me and I'm also scared. Imagine how the, <laughs> the animals are scared of you and I'm so scared. So I'm scared it's when I'm holding them or catching them right now. But this is what it is, they are grazing here. And of course we have hard men who are already on the ground. So these guys take them off the paddock and take them to graze in other parts of the land. Then they bring them back in the evening. So there is water, they will be able to drink. Of course feed, they leave them around. We have the gates already closed into the paddock where this is the like the exercising place. So this is basically what it is here. And let me just take you to their structures where they, they rest during the daytime. And of course I'm going to be showing you how it is, like how they, they settle in. Come with me so that I can show you around. Well guys, this is one of the structures for the for the exotic goats. Of course we separated the boas and from the local the local ones. So this is the structure for the boa goats that we had already that we purchased. So we try to separate them because the big boa, the big boy, of course it has its own segment that we separated this side other side. Come with me so that I can show you guys around. So basically you can see how the structure is like the platform the platform has small holes so this helps the um, the, uh, the droppings to go down so that it keeps the place really clean so you don't of course the person who comes will be able to just clean under it so this is basically how the structure looks like it's very clean it's very tidy then we also have the salt here this is what the salt that they they lick so guys i have our manager right here the, the head of everything so he's going to explain to us what this is then also tell us the advantages and what it's needed here for so mr charles uh thank you this is a mineral salt for our goats mm -hmm. so our goats when they come in they leak they leak it and after leaking it they have to drink more water and when you are going to deworm them it's good to have it so that when you deworm it or you do arm when a goat of yours, he or she got, mm. then uh, it takes more water, which means that that deworming you have uh, injected it, okay. uh, it will dissolve in the stomach yes, so okay. that it gets rid of worms or whatever type of worm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And it helps also the goat to have more water in the body. Oh, wow, because yeah. they get really thirsty very fast after exactly, licking it. Exactly. So that's why you. You may discover that the any goat which does not lick the salt, mm. this mineral salt, it can take just a little, little, little water, little water or even not to take it. Are you serious? Exactly. So yeah. that is so called much. salt leak. Salt leak. Yeah. It's very good for only the goats. For the goats. Okay. And the sheep. And the sheep. And the sheep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is interesting. Thank you so much, Mr. Charles. You're welcome. I appreciate your services. I appreciate you taking care of the farm and Thank everything. You. Thank you. He has been really, by the way, an amazing manager, you guys. You can't believe how everything has transformed from the time we came here. Everything has changed. Everything looks healthy. We're even motivated to bring in more animals, you know. Thank you. But thank you so much, Mr. Chan. You're welcome. All right. So, guys, I was still telling you guys the structure, showing you how we divided it because of space issues, and of course, these are all temporal structures. So, this is one of the the spaces for the boas. We separated them from the from the locals because most of the time they keep fighting here and there. So, the boa got the, the the male, the male one has its its own section, which is here. We also put for it for it its own. The lake, the salt lake, as Mr. Charles has said, so that it can also, you know, feed. And this, but these boas are really very smart animals, guys. Can you imagine? Whenever they go and graze, whenever they feel it's really so hot, they just come back to their structure. These are things that you don't even teach them. I don't know how smart they are, but they just come direct. They know their spaces. The boa, the big boa, the boy. I mean, the the big, the big one comes to his section, he doesn't even cross to this other section because he knows that he's supposed to be this other side. So we lock him up, what we only help him is to just lock, but he knows the section that he sleeps. That is an advantage of these animals. I don't know how it is, but that's how it is here. So let me take you to the other structure for the goats, for the locals, and you see how it is. It's almost similar to this one, but let's, let's just take you guys around.
guys, let's go to the different section whereby did I tell you guys that we have rabbits? Yes, we have rabbits and I'm super excited. This is our, one of the cleanets. I know they're really so cute. I really love them every time I come here. I feel like oh my god, these are really so cute and I'm super excited to show you guys how this rabbit spirit looks like. Just come along with me. Are beautiful rabbits, guys. I'm so excited. These guys are really so cute. They're under here, they're feeding. They also feed on pallets. So cute. Sorry about the noise, they're still constructing, and I don't want them to stop because they have to continue to get you. But these are the cutest rabbits, you guys. I'm so happy. They just found them to come here so that you guys see. Hello. Like I told you guys, this is just the first set of the rabbits we put up, we brought to the farm. So they're really amazing, they're really so cute, they're so adorable. I love them. Every time I come here, these are the first animals that I come to because they're just so peaceful. <laughs> they're so adorable, guys. I don't know, I don't know how to tell you guys, but that's how it is. So they are here sleeping, some of them are resting, some of them. So so far we have like five of them. Yeah, we both we got them cheaply by the way. So you may be wondering how we get this, but they are really very affordable for now. Because we buy from the locals by the way. So all these animals we buy from the local areas, that's what we normally do. So that's how it is. So let's go to the different sections so that I can show you guys what we have. Another surprise for you. Come with me. Well guys, surprise! We have the geese, you guys. Who doesn't know that geese are very, very nutritious? If you're looking for something like the geese, like the ducks, and love the duck meat, guys, we have each other from. And these are our beautiful, beautiful geese that we have here. We have so many of them. These are part of them. Some of them are really behind that side. So we have the geese, we have the duck as well that are right here. And remember for the geese, what really happens is you have to buy like in a pair. So all of them come in a pair. And if you are to notice, most of the geese move in pairs because they move, they move with the, the male and the female. The male and the female, that's how they move. As you can see, like this one and this one, that's when we know that this is a couple. So they like coupling. <laughs> that's how I should really make it. But that's how it is. We have some of them. And surprise, guys. Some of them are already laying. Let me take you guys to one of the cages that they have, and most of them are laying. Come with me. So my beautiful people, we have some of the geese already laying, so so far we have like four eggs, most of them are so huge because this is their section, you know these guys love to be secretive, so this is like the, the egg of the geese, you guys, our geese are already laying, I'm super excited, we're going to have baby, baby geese or goose. Whatever you try to 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 mesh it. So you guys I'm super excited. They're ready here laying. As they say, don't don't count your eggs before they hatch. I don't want to count them for you, but I'm super excited. This is really amazing. They have their section, these guys. It's just very, very surprising how they, they look for this because we just put this this these boxes for them so they can be able to lay sometimes when they really need to. So this is their section and some of them are already laying. It's really so nice. It's so surprising. So guys, so let's take you guys to the nether section. I, I know you're hearing the pigs. Let me show you. Let me surprise you with the pigs that we have so far in the farm because it's just amazing you guys. I'm super excited. Everything is coming together. Everything is getting long together very well so far and i'm going to show you our piglets that we purchased i remember these piglets are one of those piglets that we purchased from nguru farm i featured that video in one of the videos i'm going to also give you a link to it so that you can be able to go and check out so these are the piglets that we purchased from that farm and they're doing amazing from the time we bought them they are really very little but right now they are so so big let me show you guys 
this piglet we take it as a Guys, the section for the pigs is just amazing. This place is just so mind blowing. Like I told you guys, we have a mixed farm, and of course, I talked about the pigs. What kind of pigs do you think we are having? Just give a guess before we continue with the video. Because there's so much we have here, this is just the beginning. Like I told you, we have the lockers, then we have the, the, the hybrids already here. So today I'm going to show you the large whites that we have already purchased from the previous one. So these piglets are really so big so far because from the time we purchased them, they are really very, very little. But from the feeding, we feed them really so well, we give them enough water, then a very comfortable space. So guys, these guys are really living a life. Because let me show you just how it is here. I don't know how to get inside, but this is how it is here. I'm not going to get inside. But these are the pigs. They have a feeding section here. Remember, all the structures are just temporal because we've improvised the drinking pots. We are going to have the meeples coming in very, very soon. To the structure, there is also the wood shavings that is already there, and we are also using the IMO method, whereby we are keeping them very comfortable, very healthy, they don't get diseases, and also the smell, so that when you come into the, the, the pig section, you don't, you're not touched by that heavy, heavy smell. So this is how it is. The pigs look really so healthy. They are very amazing. They are very happy. They are feeding some of them have their um, they're drinking the water like this particular one is already resting it's just relaxing and enjoying life what do you think about the pig section do you love and by the way guys let me know which part of the of the animals did you like did you like the the, 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 the hens did you like the turkeys did you like the pigs did you like the geese please let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know what you think about our our system so far have we done a great job would you give us an advice would you, what do you think about it please give your comment down below so that i can get your view as well but this is how it is for the pig section so far but of course the permanent structure that is already been under construction our team is already working on it and of course i'll be taking you guys along with me one time so that you can be able to see how the structure really looks like it's going to be so big it's going to be amazing because so far we have a few of them here but when the structure is completely done of course we shall be able to transfer these pigs to the other structure that i'll be taking you along in the coming weeks the guinea cows the guinea cows are right here these are one of the basing most of the tastiest birds that we have so far so these are the ones they're not going to fly away so these are some of them right here they're also in free range this is really amazing we have so many of them let me try to count six nine twelve there are over 20 of them i can't even count they're really so fast they're disappearing but we also have the guinea cows they're really amazing they are very tasty so in case you're looking out for guinea cows in the near future when we start selling the other uh, farm other uh, value farm we won't be able to get this this guinea cows then also i took them well guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for you know keeping along with me up to the end of this video i'm really super super excited you guys have seen what we have in the farm we have given you a big reveal on this farm the animals we have so far the birds we have so far it has been amazing to share with you guys what we really have here from the geese from the from the hens that we have here from the goats the different kinds of goats we have here then also the rabbits so basically it has been an amazing experience what do you think about the farm how is it coming along so far do you like what we are doing so far what do you think that we can be able to change what do you want us to improve on what do you think about this farm so give me your comment down below and tell me what you really think about the farm because you know we are all here to share ideas and of course to share with you our journey of this amazing farm and of course i'll be teaching you how we've been purchasing these animals i'm going to be doing all series about the farm the the prices where you can get all these what you can be about what they feed on all that is coming up on the upcoming episodes of the farm and of course 
so much is coming up so subscribe if you haven't already and also give us a like and also share these videos because you need to share all the knowledge with all your friends and family because this is the channel that you can find all the informative videos of course from real estate lifestyle and also farming so thank you guys for watching see you in the next one bye bye